Okay, Russell, so just before we go and see Mr. Jacobs, can you just give me a quick summary before we go in and see him? Um, well, the patient's chart reports that they had their surgery yesterday mm -hmm. and the op notes say that he was able to begin mobilising today uh, with weight bearing as tolerated. Uh, the anaesthetic report uh, shows that he had a femoral and sciatic nerve block during the surgery. Yeah. Um, he did attend the pre-op clinic here and it says that he had uh, some range of motion changes prior to the surgery. Mm -hmm. um, and I can see here that he was only managing to walk uh, about 200 meters prior to the surgery and that he works on a farm. Yeah, good. So, uh, so a couple of bits of information I want to clarify mm -hmm. there. Just yeah. first of all, tell me what you know about nerve blocks. Uh, yeah, uh, it means that the, the patient's pain should be under control, uh, but the patient may have some sensory or motor blocks. Okay. Uh, probably have to test those. Yeah, good. So yeah. we need to do some sensation and strength testing. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you mentioned something about that prior to surgery, there was some range of motion changes. Uh, can you just tell me a little bit more about that? Uh, sure. Well, uh, yeah, Mr. Jacobs had a, a fixed flexion deformity, um, but I think that the surgery should fix this, uh, but there may be some chronic uh, changes that the surgery won't fix. Okay, so you're talking about some chronic changes there. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by chronic changes or what might be affected? Um, what structures? Well, I'm not completely sure, but uh, I imagine like some muscle shortening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there could be some muscle muscle shortening. That would be right. So maybe he's got some tight hamstrings, yeah. or maybe some of the ligamentous structures might be a little bit mm. tight. So um, we probably will assess that as part of our assessment today. Um, now, before we go any further, is there any other information from the chart that you wanted to discuss? Uh, no, I think we've got all the information we need from this chart. But I would like to check the X-rays and the OBS before we go and see Mr. Jacobs. Yeah, I reckon that would be a good idea. Should we go check the X-rays now then? May as well. Okay, good. Okay, so do you want to just take me through the x-ray there, Russell? Yeah, um, okay, well, I'll just, I'll take it step by step. Um, we have the correct patient confirmed here, uh, Mr. Jacobs, by their name and date of birth, uh, and it seems that this one is the one prior to his surgery. Uh, I, I can see a few changes here. Um, I know that there's a little less joint space here, and there's um, s some more white over here, um, which, which means more bone. Um, look, I'm not I'm not the best at identifying these. Um, his other knee looks looks fine. Um, there's there is some joint space uh, loss, but nothing like that on the other side. Yeah, that's good. That's an excellent summary. So, are you pretty happy to go in and see the patient now? Uh, yes, very happy. Yeah. Anything else you want to do before we go? Um, oh, uh, yeah. We should uh, probably have a look at their um their OBS chart before we. See them? Yeah, good. Yep. So let's go grab their OBS chart and yep. then we'll go talk to Mr. Jacobs. We have uh, Mr. Jacobs' OBS chart here. Um, his OBS look all quite good. Uh, I can't see anything that is out of the ordinary. Uh, his blood pressure is a little on the low side. Uh, it's 105 over 62. Um, probably worthwhile checking for symptoms uh, such as dizziness before we get him up. Um, and he has had regular pain relief, which should mean that he's up to date. Uh, looks like it was given about 30 minutes ago. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, um, so you mentioned a couple of things now I just want to clarify. Mm -hmm. So first of all, you said that his blood pressure is a little on the low side. Yeah. Is that something that you're worried about or? Uh, not not really. No. Not really? No. Um, is there anything that might explain him having slightly lowered blood pressure? Uh, yeah, um, probably attribute it to the blood loss from surgery. Yeah, so he could yeah. have had some blood loss in surgery. Is mm -hmm. there any other factors? Uh, not really, no. no. Okay, so you mentioned a little bit about pain relief there. Have you checked with the nurses uh, to confirm? Yes, I, I spoke to the nurses yeah. and like what's on the chart, 30 minutes ago they administered his pain relief, okay. um, which should have given it enough time to have uh, started working, which should make our treatment more effective. Okay, so is there anything else that you wanted to check before we... Um, aside from the fact that the nurses told me that he was doing quite well and yeah. was quite keen to get out of bed, which is okay. a good thing. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Okay, yeah. so is there anything else we need to do before we go and speak to Mr. Jacobs? No, no, that's all. All right, good, let's go. Mr. Jacobs? Yes. Yeah. How you doing, mate? Uh, my name's Russell. I'm a physiotherapy student here. How oh, are you doing today? Yeah, hi, Russell. Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And uh, how's the knee? Yeah, it seems to be okay. Yeah? The nurses treating you all right? Yeah, yeah, they're very good. They, they've been giving me pain relief usually every 30 oh, yeah. minutes, so that's keeping the, the, the pain and the discomfort under control. Good. Mm. How is the pain at the moment? Is it, oh, is it still there? Yeah, it's, it's slight. Okay. Um, if I was to give you a scale from 0 to 10, 0 being mm. no pain at all and 10 being the worst pain you can imagine, where would you rate it? Oh, at the moment, 3 on that sort of scale. Around yeah, a three. 3. 3, okay. And have you tried to move it around much? Oh, I tried to move it a little while ago and uh, it hurt a bit, so I haven't moved it since. Okay, so just a little bit, not too much? Yeah, it, it sort of kicked the pain up a little bit. 
Okay, and using that same scale, where mm. would you kind of rate that? It, it was about a seven when I tried about to move it. a seven, it. okay, sure thing. Yeah, and since the pain medication, I, I haven't tried to move it again. Okay. All right, well, I know that the pain's in your knee, but could you describe to me whereabouts in the knee? Like, is it behind the knee at front? Yeah, it, it is behind the knee and just below it. Mm. Behind the knee yeah, and just sort below Sort of it. around it, but yeah, mainly behind it and below it. Okay, and is the pain radiating any uh, elsewhere? Is it going down your, your leg or up into your leg? No, or? no, it's just sort of localised around that area. Just localised around your knee? So, Mr Jacobs, um, how's the leg now? Is there any uh, numbness, any pins and needles, anything like that? No, not now, Russell. No, I, I did, did experience some numbness there last night. Some numbness? It's okay. a bit uh, concerning. It seemed to be the whole leg, but I haven't noticed leg. it this morning, which is good. Okay, yeah. well, we'll have a look at that before you get up, just to make sure you're safe. What do you mean safe, Russell? Well, sometimes the nerve block um, can affect your muscles. It makes it difficult to stand up. Oh, We're just going to make sure that that's not the case before you move. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Mr Jacobs, whereabouts do you live? Yeah, we uh, we live up in Canungra. Pat and I, yeah, we've got a farm there. Oh, Lake yeah? Ridge, yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. a lovely location. Yeah, I think I remember reading that. Um, uh, it said something, you have stairs at your house. Was, uh, was it six on either side? Yeah, the actual homestead. Yeah, we've got uh, steps both uh, back and, and front. Back and front. Yeah, yeah, not too many. I think it's about six each. Awesome. So, Mr Jacobs, mm. um, have you had a chance to look through the discharge guidelines uh, so that you know what you need to do before you can leave? Yeah, look, I was actually reading them this morning, Russell, before I sort of drifted off to sleep. And Oh, well, that's good. Good on yeah, you. Yeah, Pat, my wife's had a look at them too, so <laughs> she'll keep me on the ball as far as they're concerned, I think. Excellent. Well, what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at your name, we'll check everything out, and then at the end of the session, we'll just discuss those guidelines, just so that I know that you're on the same page. Sounds good, Russell. Excellent. Sounds no worries. Good. Okay, Mr. Jacobs, how about we have a look at that knee? Yes, yeah, certainly, Russell. Okay. Yeah, I must admit, it's feeling pretty good, actually, seeing it was only surgery yesterday, so... That's uh, good. I'm pleased. Good. All right, let's get your feet out through there. Yeah, sure. All right. So, how's it feeling? Yeah, as I say, it's feeling really good. Yeah. Well, it doesn't seem to be too much swelling and not much redness, which is good. Um, what I'm going to do now, Mr Jacobs, is just uh, feel around the area to see if I can feel for any warmth. Yeah, sure, Russell. It does feel a little bit warm. Hmm, that's good. I guess that's normal, is it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned you were having a little bit of pain yesterday. How's that going? Yeah, yeah. That's, look, it's still there. Mm -hmm. It's still there. Whereabouts, whereabouts exactly oh, is look, it? Right behind the knee and just, just a, a little bit above it. Okay, into your hamstring. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. Well, that, that could be normal. I mean, your, your muscles have been quite tight for a while. Mm. Um, now, we are going to do our best to kind of like loosen that muscle out and straighten mm -hmm. it out. Um, I understand that every so often it might be easy for you, easier sorry, for you to put a pillow underneath it. I was just going to say, would it mm. uh, help if I put a pillow under it? It'll help with the pain, but mm. for the long-term kind of recovery, it's going to impede the muscle stretching. Right. To, yeah. Gotcha. So if you if you need to for pain, do it, but just take that into consideration. Well, I'll be guided by you. Mm. Yeah. Now, one thing I am going to do, I am going to, I will confirm with the doctor just to make sure that it, it's not another cause of pain, just so mm -hmm. I can make sure. Yeah. Um, and you know, just for your sake as well. Yeah. Good. Okay, well for now Mr Jacobs, um, do you mind if we go through a couple of exercises to see how the muscles are working? No, Russell, no, let's Excellent. go for it. Okay, first of all, can I get you to move your feet just in circles? Yeah, no discomfort with that. That's good. And wiggle your toes? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move over to this side. Mm -hmm. Just so you can kind of have an understanding of, of how this feels, what I'm going to be doing is activating the muscle just above your knee. Right. So I'm just going to hold here, and I just mm -hmm. need you to push your knee into the bed. Like that? That's exactly what I need. Perfect. Okay, so you can feel how that feels? Yep. Right, mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go over to the other side. just need you to do the same thing with this leg. How's that? Yeah, a bit of tightness there, as I said a while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, it's not too uncomfortable. Good. Okay, now one last thing. Mm -hmm. need you to squeeze your butt. Together. Squeeze your bottom together. Yep. <laughs> All right, Russell. Good. 
Okay, so Mr. Jacobs, all those exercises that we just went through, mm -hmm. if you can do those like in your bed, then you'll be able to assist with the recovery of your leg. Yeah, sure, mm -hmm. I can do those. How yeah. often no, should I do them? Uh, about 10 times every hour. Ten times I, know, I know it seems like a lot, but believe me, it, it will really, really help. Okay. Also, if you can kind of uh, just keep the knee iced regularly, iced. then mm -hmm. that'll, that'll assist with the recovery as well. Okay, Mr. Jacobs, we're just going to just do some leg raises, okay? Yeah, all right, Russ. Alright, so we just need to see whether or not you can, just keeping your leg straight, mm -hmm. just try and lift it. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, easy. Okay, mm. now we'll try on the other side. Mm, right. <laughs> Might be a different story, I think. Okay, try that. No. Okay. No, I can't. No, that's I can't. fine, that's fine. Mm. Um, what I'd like to do now is a sensation test. I'm just going to take a tissue. Yeah. Uh, I'll just, first of all, just do this on your arm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is just a base test. That's what's normal, right? Right. So I'm just going to move around here. How's that in comparison? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay, yeah, so... I feel like. Mm. Good. All right, now just to test the sensation over here. So if that is normal... Mm -hmm. How's that? Yeah, same. Same. All right. And here. So just around the knee. Yeah. Same? Yeah, same on both legs. Okay, now I just need to... Pull down this up. Yeah. So here. Because one thing we need to do is test the sensation at the bottom of your feet. Right. They're a bit hard to get off those stockings, Russell. Yeah, they, they are. <laughs> they really grip. Yeah, that's what they're designed to do. And this side as well. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, just very tight. Mm. Okay, so now we'll just keep moving down the leg. Mm hmm. Yes. That's normal. Yeah, same. Same? Mm-hmm. And here? Yes, feel it. Yeah. Same. Good. All right, now we're just going to go under the feet. Mm-hmm. Yes, can feel that. And... Yeah, same on that foot. Same on that side? Excellent. Okay, thanks for that. Okay, so Mr. Jacobs, we're just going to do some yeah, knee Russell, bends. please call me Tom. Tom? Yeah. Uh, no worries, Tom. Um, we're just going to do some knee bends now. All right, um, yeah, this will be gonna, interesting. Yeah, I'm just going to raise the level of the bed a bit, mate. Mm -hmm. So how's it feeling? Yeah, it feels all right. Yeah, it feels all right. Yeah, a little bit of tightness there, but... Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let's see what we can do to kind of alleviate that. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to support your leg here and here. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to try and bend your knee as far as it can go, okay? All right. If it starts to hurt, let me know. Will do. Okay, so we're starting... Okay, so far... Yeah, oh, getting a bit of resistance. Starting to get a bit of tightness there now, Russell. Okay, that's... All right, if, can you just hold it there, Tom? Yeah. yeah sure thing. Okay. All right, well, we're sitting at 60 degrees. That's pretty good. Mm, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's just drop it for now. Okay. Okay, so, Tom, what I'd like to do is I'd like to try and go through that motion about 10 times, um, mm -hmm. just to kind of help to facilitate the, the, the stretching of that muscle. Yeah. Um, we're not gonna go any further than we can, it's not gonna cause you any pain. All right. Might get to a point that it's uncomfortable, but just let me know, okay? I will. All right, so same deal. Back up. Well, we're starting to feel the tightness now, yeah. Russell. It's okay, mm -hmm. drop that back down. How's that feeling? Yeah. Okay, all right, now for number two. How's that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Alright. Okay, big number nine. Oh yeah. Hey, look at that. Yeah, gee, that's that's progress. Alright, last one to hold on that, that last one. Yep, all right. mm. One more. Hey. Yeah, that's about it. Alright, can yep. you hold it there just for a moment? Yeah, sure. Got that? Tom, we have had a 30 degree increase. Oh, that's good. That is good. That's very good. That's good. Okay, so Tom, now that we've gone through those exercises and those sensation tests, yeah. we're going to get you to stand up and we're going to do some walking exercises. Stand up? Mm -hmm. Walking? Mm -hmm. Sure it's not too soon after surgery? I'm allowed to do that, am I, Russell? Definitely allowed to do that. In fact, more than allowed, encouraged to. Okay. But well, I can understand that you're nervous and that's I understandable. Am, I am, yes. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with my educator, Mark. There's going to be two mm -hmm. of us here. We're Good. going to bring a walking frame. 
and we'll assist you. So I can understand you're nervous, but we will do everything to make it as comfortable okay. as we can yeah, for you. That sounds good. Okay, sure thing. I'll be back soon. Okay, Russell. What have you got there, Russell? This is modern technology at its finest. Interesting. Mr. Jacobs, yep. my name's Mark. I'm the physiotherapist here. I'm going to be helping Russell out oh, today, okay, and getting Mark, you up yeah, and walking. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. I think he might need a bit of help. Yeah. <laughs> mm. We'll look after you. Yeah. Good. Um, so we're just going to move him onto the side of the bed. Um, yeah. Move his legs around, and we'll get him up onto the frame. Okay. You've done all your sensation and strength tests. Yes. And you're happy to get yes, up. Yes. Done okay. all of those. Um, so I'll uh, I'll just get you on this side to uh, to kind of support his back as I as I bring him yeah. across. I'll support no his leg. Perfect. Um, so just before we go, just have a quick look around. Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable with everything and you're ready to go? No, uh, best grab the uh, catheter. Good, yeah. yep. So we'll grab the catheter so we can get that tangled. Mm -hmm. That's a nuisance, yeah. that thing. Hopefully it'll come out later today. <laughs> Hopefully it'll come out when it's supposed to, not yeah, later in the day when it's enough, not. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Tom, what I'm going to do, yep. I'm going to support your leg. Right. You should have you know, full use of the rest of your body. I'm just going to assist with this to get mm -hmm. this around to the side. And Mark, my educator, is going to uh, help support your back, okay? So what you want me to sort of shuffle over to the side of the bed? Yes, that'll be excellent. Okay. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Just nice and slow. Yeah. Now slowly come around. Grab your leg. Okay. Now slowly lowering it. Yeah, okay. How's, yeah. how's that? Yeah, going good. Good. Yeah. So Tom. Now that we've moved to here, before we start, I'd just like to ask you, are you feeling uh, dizzy, uh, uncomfortable or anything? You're okay? Not just, in any pain? No, just a little bit dizzy actually, Russell. A little bit dizzy? Yeah, yeah. That's alright, I'll tell you what, we'll wait a minute and then we'll get started, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, so Tom, how about we go for a bit of a walk? Yeah, sounds good, Russell. Okay, so we've got the frame here. Yep. Um, Mark and I are going to uh, help you up onto the frame. Yes. Um, would it be easier for you to be over this side? Uh, yeah, I think that would be a good yeah. idea for me to be on that side, yeah. Yes, I move this I before we move up. Might need a bit of help first up. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, Mark and I are going to support your weight. Good. Um, we're just going to get you to push down on the bed to give that, oh, that okay. bit of a boost. Yeah, with my hands. And then move your hands up into here, then your arms in there, and yeah. hold onto those handles, Got okay? It. And Got we'll it. support your weight moving up. Sounds good. good. Sounds good. All right, let's do All right, it. Ready, Tom? And go! Go. Oh. Yep, you got your, yeah, hands on that? Yep, yep. Excellent. Alright, and how are you feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah just a little bit lightheaded, but... Oh, yeah. Your colour seems okay, yeah, so no, that's it's, good. It's clearing now, it's clearing, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we're ready to go yeah, for a yeah. walk? Where would you like to go? Um, I figured just a, a short walk, um, yeah. and if if you're feeling uh, better afterwards, we'll come back to the chair. Yeah, yeah. alright. Okay, good. I think that's a good idea. Right. Um, now, before we move forward, I'll just explain how the frame works. Yes. Okay, so what we need you to do is to... We need you to step off on the operated leg, mm -hmm. but hold your weight and push down into the frame. That way you'll hold all the weight with the rest of your body and Got not it. with that okay, knee. Okay, don't put it on the knee. Okay. All right. Yep, how's that? Doing that. Here we go. And... Oh, yeah. That's there we all go. Right. Yeah. Good. Gee, that's, uh, that's better than I thought it might be, Russ.